Janak Raman. Actually, I was talking to my friend for about half an hour, and this phone got heated up. Oh, but uh, isn't that expected? I mean, it's happening, but why is it? Okay, so uh, maybe I'll explain that with another gadget. So, do you recognize this gadget here? Yeah, I use this to heat water. Yeah, so this is nothing but a kettle. right and it is used to heat water and quite naturally these kettles are very efficient they heat up you know very quickly right so what i have here is you know just some water at room you can actually touch the water yeah. and check yeah, it's, it's just it's, uh, cold yeah. Yeah? yeah okay i'm going to now turn this on okay and let's just see what happens Okay I think this is heated up quite a bit so shall we open it and check let's see yeah i can see the you can see the steam coming yes, out yes right yes. do you want to touch it and see uh, no <laughs> <laughs> right so you believe me that it's hot enough right yeah. so yeah. you can see it's that uh, you actually have an uh, multimeter here right yes can you do one thing Mm -hmm. can you just make a measurement now for me right okay so uh, you have a multimeter here i see so can you do one measurement for me of course so i'll just tell you right take this out can you measure the resistance between these two points on the plug I i'll tell you what what oh, so these are going to the Phase and neutral. Yes, those are actually going to the. And phase you wanted to know what's the resistance? Resistance between those two points, and uh, I'll tell you why. Let me put this in ohm. I've shorted it. Gives almost zero resistance. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's fifty-two point seven. It's about. Fifty-two point seven, right? So let me write this down, okay? And uh, do you want to know the voltage that you applied? Yeah, that's also important. Can you measure that as well? Let me put this in AC voltage. Fifty-two ohms. Have you turned it on? You got to turn this on. Yeah. is 230 yeah so please be very careful not to do these measurements at home because they are very dangerous right so you see that this is about 230 volts okay of course this is an alternating current and all that we will come to that let's uh, just note this down right voltage voltage from power source Two thirty volts. Oh. Okay, right. So okay. that means there will be some current flowing through. Exactly. When I connect this. Right. So what you see here is, so you have this uh, plug, right? So your 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 kettle is here, right? And inside, so this is your power socket, the phase and neutral, right? So this is phase and neutral, and some voltage measurement here showed us 230, 230 volts. volts we'll see what that is later okay between this two nodes we got 230 volts yeah okay and we also made a resistance measurement and we found that to be 50. approximately 52 ohms, ohms right okay so can you tell me how many watts this heater must consume this uh, i square r loss yeah which is uh, v square by r yeah so 230 square by so 52 power is 230 square divided by 52 it is approximately 1000 
thousand watt. Right? Okay. okay. That's so this yeah, water is hot now. Water is very hot, and not only that. Remember, the moment we talk about watts, it's actually the rate, right? That's why this guy was able to heat it very fast, right? If it was like a ten watt heater, it would take forever to heat and get to the same temperature, right? So let's look at this rating, by the way, of this heater here. Um, it's not very clear, but it says thousand watt. 230 volt 230 volt 50 hertz okay right and uh, it's not very surprising right so you see this 1000 watt here 230 volt and it's not very surprising because that's exactly the number that we got, we got. Hmm. out here so we are we are on track but coming back to your question right you started off by saying you spoke to somebody and the phone got heated up right yeah well that is exactly what resistors do when you pass current through a resistor right and we say that there is a power which is i squared into r or v squared by r that power actually gets dissipated as heat from that resistor right mm. so that's why all this uh, power through a resistor is i squared into r or v squared by r okay where you have a resistor either this voltage is v this is the resistor or the current through this resistor is i right this power actually gets dissipated as heat right and in some cases like this kettle it can be harnessed and it can be used for something useful to heat water but in a mobile phone and something like that there is always some current being drawn from the battery because you are either talking or you are browsing the web or watching a video and therefore all this current goes through some resistor or the other and gets dissipated as heat so in fact that is the reason the heat management is actually very very critical in any electronic system especially this tiny electronic system yes. because all the heat is dissipated in a very very small area right this is actually if you look at it it's a very large area yeah. across which the heat is uh, dissipated but if you remember the mobile phone that i showed you right just a couple of components and you know just uh, all the ic's are packed in such a small area Correct. so the heat management becomes a very very important issue as well okay now we got it so Thank you.